There is no Kremlin funeral for Nikita Khrushchev, the colorful former Russian premier who brought an end to Stalinism and eased the lives of his people. He was deposed from the Russian leadership in 1964 and since it lived in obscurity. Public announcement of his death was delayed for two days and he was buried in a private ceremony after a heart attack at the age of 77. Louis Satchmore Armstrong died at the age of 71. Unique and beloved, the jazz great was a legend in his own time. The belief is held by some that the forces now in control of the mainland of China are unfriendly to us and that we should therefore prevent the fall of that island. Technically, they contend, we have a right to do so since no treaty of peace has been signed with Japan. There's only one Bobby Jones. About 15,000 were in the gallery when they all seemed to be for the American. Bobby's very popular over there. This is his third attempt at the British Amateur Championship, and they admired his steady defeat of eight opponents before he could get to the finals. For the third time in history, the Amateur Cup will take a trip across the Atlantic. Bobby achieved a lifelong ambition, and he's mighty proud. On the heels of his abortive attempt to enlarge the Supreme Court, President Franklin Roosevelt named Senator Hugo L. Black to the high bench. Senator Alvin Barkley and Vice President John Garner congratulate the new justice who went on to a long and distinguished career. No one can foretell what decisions may emerge from that debate, but in this job, this job for your boys, for your men everywhere, there can be no debate and there can be no argument. Oh, oh, oh. 